Hello guys, welcome back for a new lesson. Today's Throw My Bones by Deep Purple. Throw My Bones is one of the new songs of the band for the upcoming album of 2020. Before to start, tell me in the comment section below what's your favorite album of Deep Purple. So we are in standard tuning and today we're gonna learn the verse, the chorus and some part of the bridge. Okay, so we'll start with the verse. So for the verse we have Okay, so what's happening there? So we have three to three on the lowest ring. And after we'll do that again. But between both, we'll just add some dead note. So to play some dead note, we just have to put our finger on the strings without any pressure. And on the right hand, we just have to play the strings. So you can play only the lowest ring or you can play several strings, as you prefer. So it's alternate picking, so we are doing down, up, down to play the 3-2-3. Three, three. Down, up, down. And when we are here, so we go ahead and we play up, we block the strings down, up, and here, on the down, we play again, three, two, three. Okay, so now the, the next part, we're gonna play one dead knot, and we'll play this chord, so. So I just put my index finger on the 3-3-3 three, three, three on the G, uh, B and E string. So. so down, I block the strings and up. So that's the first time and for the second time we'll do a slide on the D string to the 5th fret. So it's the same, I play first, I block the string, and when I do my up, I do my slide. And here what I do is, I play with my ring finger the, the 5, and with my other fingers, I just block the strings. Okay, so that's the verse, but at the beginning of the song we have a kind of intro, which is like... So, we come here, and we put our uh, middle finger on the 5th fret on the A string and we'll play a small uh, chromatic scale, so 5, 4, 5, 6. We do the same here on the 7th. And after we play 9, 8, 9. Okay, so that's all for the verse. Now let's move on to the chorus. So for the chorus, we just uh, we'll just play some some chords. So the chord progression is B flat major, F major. So you can do bar chord if you prefer. I just prefer to play like that. 
So. C minor. G minor. So once again, you can play uh, the regular bar chord like that. Next, we have a G sharp. So uh, six here on the A string and seven, seven, seven on the D, G, and B string. And after, I will do a A sharp here. So it's like a regular A major chord, but half step up. And here it's important to block the any other strings. So, and if you play like me the D sharp like that, you can just slide, and I block the other string with my thumb. After we are back on the C minor. For the C minor, I play three, five, five, four. And after, I will play a regular D. And for the regular D, I just play one, two, three, four, five. And on the last note, I just slide back. Okay, so let's uh, do that again. Okay, so now let's move on to the bridge, which is also the intro of the solo so for that just after the the chorus so this part is a kind of b flat major scale it's not a kind it's exactly <laughs> the scale We'll play one on the D string, open D string, and we move up to the A string for three. The next part is open D string, three on the A string, one on the A string open A string and we move up to 3 on the low A string. So Okay, so now the next part of this section is this one which is 1 3 on the low A string open A string and one on the A string. So all of that together. So we are here with our index finger on the on the A string and we slide to the three on the A string and we'll play three, five, six and we'll play on the D string, three, five, seven. And it's really important to just, you know, go ahead with all the notes here. Don't do any break, don't do any, uh, any accents, it's just like straightforward. So we just have a, a four here on the G string. Okay. 
After the solo, we have this part. Which is exactly the same as this one. Except that here we are on the D string and we are here on the 12. So 12, 11, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. The same here on the 14th. So 14, 13, 14, 15. And after 16, 15. And that is for today guys, so thank you very much for watching this lesson. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion for the next video. Please like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. So I see you very soon for a new lesson. Cheers!